Hello everyone, this is everyone with 6 and I bring you something different today. Uh, this is going to be a let's play of the new game Supreme City, which is the long-awaited sequel to the hit game SimCity from the Super Nintendo. Um, the SimCity franchise has actually been fairly quiet since about 2007 or so, so this release has been actually a very, uh, it's been a very anticipated release, and so I'm glad to see, uh, so I'm glad to see that, uh, there's finally a title out for this franchise. Uh, okay, so, um, there's a couple different changes from the, uh, game so far. Uh, of course, it's of course it's a fully 3D game now. It's not that 2D stuff that you can only get on the Super Nintendo, uh, and it's also uh, also a couple different changes. The first change you'll see here is that you have this mayoral construction unit uh, that will pr uh, produce all your buildings for you instead of having to select all your buildings from a menu and then plopping them down on the ground. Uh, you also get these uh, secondary construction vehicles that you produce from your industrial factories right here. Uh, so. Uh, we didn't have this right here. This construction vehicle will be producing our uh, power plant because, of course, the first thing you have to do in any SimCity game is build a power plant first. Um, uh, so, we, so he'll have that do. Uh, and that one's supposed to do that. This is supposed to, over here, build the power plant. We'll have the mayor build the uh, uh, oil extractor. Uh, the other significant difference between the game is that instead of uh, uh, the main way you get money now is through these oil extractors over here. You can see they're just, uh, zoom in about, see they're just pumping away, extracting all the oil and, and turning it into money. Uh, we're going to have the mayor help with there too. Okay, so as soon as this uh, power plant's up, we'll be able to be, uh, build our first residential areas. Uh, the uh, the uh, construction units are able to build everything you have, and uh, it's not instantaneous anymore. Uh, the uh, construction is... Instead of just plopping down a building and it's just automatically built, uh, you have to wait for your construction vehicle to, vin to finish, which adds a, quite a bit of realism. Uh, we're going to start our first uh, subdivision. I'm going to make this entire area right here the first subdivision. Uh, so we're going to build uh, three houses right there, and then we're going to build four more houses like this. And we're going to wait for these construction vehicles to begin to finish this, and we can we can actually speed it up a little bit, just like you can in any SimCity game. Uh, so these are going to be uh, continuing to build their uh, build the houses. And you see, there's one just went down. Uh, so it's going to be building all these houses in unison. Uh, thankfully, they did streamline the build process a bit. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we're going to have to plan out the substations. Uh, the substations are a new thing in SimCity. Uh, you know, uh, you don't have to build any power lines, but you do have to build substations. Uh, see the power lines you can see one right here. It's all it's already uh, they already built them uh, But you do need to build substations to help distribute the power so what you do is you can so we'll take our mayor over here because the mayor can build uh, uh, Build substations, uh, so we're gonna have a build a substation. Actually. I wanted it. I wanted it right here Let's demolish this We're gonna demolish this house. That's also you can do that too uh, So we'll demolish this house. It's a good thing that no one has started living in here uh, if someone did, then uh, eminent domain, eminent domain, city, city rules all. All right, so we're gonna have to build a power, uh, a power extractor, not extractor, a power substation there. We're gonna build a power substation up here, and then we're gonna build another one over here. And so this entire subdivision, this little four by four quadrant, is going to be our first subdivision. Uh, I think we have enough people in here, so I'm going to build a second industrial, and I am planning this out a little bit, uh, because uh, in the new Supreme City, you get a adjacency bonus, not adjacency, a, uh, a symmetry bonus. Uh, like if your entire city is symmetrical or almost symmetrical, you get bonus points at the end of the game for that. So it's really cool. Uh, you can see these industrial uh, things you can produce. Uh, the you can produce more construction vehicles for them and a bunch of other things, but we don't need to worry about those. Uh, those are kind of irrelevant to the game. Uh, so we're going to uh, just take this and build an. Ah, oh, damn it! The I gotta place this subdivision. I gotta place these power again. I keep messing up. All right, so this is what we're going. Okay, so as we continue to build this, develop the subdivision further, uh, we're going to see as we continue to build the subdivision further, uh, you'll see. How the population is growing. Our population is about 43,000. Actually, that's not right. Uh, but uh, but that's our total capacity. And, and speaking of population, we just hit a population milestone. This is a cool thing that the game will give you every time you hit a certain amount of people. Uh, we just hit town. Population of more 2,000 or more people. Congratulations, your village has become a town. Placing residential zones, industrial zones, and commercial zones in balanced numbers will help your city grow. And that's absolutely true. All right, so let's turn to the game. Alright, so now that we're a town, we get a couple extra benefits. 
um, first of all, we get the ability to build seaports and airports. Now, what we're going to do with, the, with those, as soon as we get the subdivision up, we're going, I'm going to show uh, how you build an airport. First, I want to finish the su uh, subdivision. So we're going to have this right here. And we're going to put uh, this construction vehicle uh, over here. And it's going to build an airport, kind of right here with Grand Crane Line Power Plant. Uh, if you live, uh, I know in my city, uh, the airport is way far away from any of the, the city or the surrounding suburbs. So I'm just going to build it uh, further away too. Uh, I'm going to build a couple more construction vehicles because I think we can handle it. And I'm going to kind of like, increase our oil production right there. So I want to start a second subdivision. I'm going to start over here. So I'm going to put two houses right there, uh, four houses right here. Whoops. We can move, just move that. That's another thing. You can just move the subdivision. Just move the house if it hasn't started building yet. I do like this, and so because I want to uh, still have room uh, for my uh, uh, for my substation, so I'm going to have my mayor come over here and put the substations down. He's going to do that. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. All right. Uh, while I'm at it, I can build another uh, another industrial facility. Uh, that way, because the the citizens need uh, the the in, uh, the factories produce the industrial goods uh, that the citizens will then buy. Uh, so that's good there. Uh, so the Air Force is up, and we're, it's, we're already feeling its econ effects. We are getting a lot more uh, uh, commerce and a lot more industry flowing into the city. And the other thing you can do is you can get a seaport. So I'm going to send uh, the one, this construction vehicle over here. It's going to build a seaport for us soon. In fact, I can order it to do that right now. Uh, so I'm going to build a seaport right over here, and it get, connects to the ocean, and then it will be able to uh, uh, you'll be able to get some ships uh, flowing in and out. All right, so. Uh, this, so this subdivision is here. I'm going. I think we can speed this up a little bit. Let's get. Let's get. Let's increase our oil production a little bit. Uh, so and get a couple of a couple more construction vehicles. We're gonna do that. And I also want to start a third subdivision down here. Uh, so two, four, four, two. And it's very important to have these patterns like this because, at, like I said, at the end of the game, it'll score you based on your on your symmetry and the symmetry is very important it's more important than pretty much anything else in the game it's a huge bonus uh, you're gonna want to uh, you're gonna want to focus that on that entirely all right so we're gonna put some more uh, substations down there uh, looks like that the mayor isn't doing anything so we'll just have him help uh, this construction vehicle build this house now is that uh, looks like the seaport is building up uh, it looks like that this uh, construction vehicle is going to get it done in about fairly close time so uh, let's get let's have a let's have it build a couple cargo ships. Uh, the more cargo ships you have, the the, be the greater effects you feel that the seaport on your economy. All right, so I'm going to uh, build another, uh, just to kind of upgrade this uh, oil extractor again. Uh, so we're going to build a fourth uh, in uh, industrial factory uh, while it's doing this. So the more, like I said, the more people you have, you have to catch up with it. Uh, so the uh, the more industry you have. Uh, the more people they have, the more industry you have to have to keep up with their uh, demands. All right. Uh, so, the, like I said, so as I think you can see what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a fourth subdivision down here. Uh, so the subdivision, uh, once it's once these construction vehicles are down over here, so I'm going to uh, build are still going on. So I'm going to build about six construction vehicles. Meanwhile, I'll have this one start. I'm going uh, while uh, I'm going to have this one start the next project. Uh, that is these high-rise apartments buildings. These ones give a lot of uh, population boost, uh, but they take a while to build. So I'm going to uh, just queue them up. Uh, they're going to be here in the middle of the city, uh, where they can tower over the rest of it. Uh, so we're going to see. I'm going to slow down a little bit. It's getting a little bit too hard to manage now. So I'm going to, like I said, get another subdivision. Uh, wrong button. All right. So I got those four houses. Four, four, two. It's the most important part of the game right there. You want to make sure you have your little patterns. So you see, even it's, it's, it's symmetrical, each subdivision is symmetrical, and yet the entire thing is symmetrical in itself, and that's what you want. That's what you want in a game like this. Uh, you want to be able to have that symmetry, and you want to uh, uh, you want to prioritize it so you can get the most points at the end. All right, so uh, you see these uh, uh, houses are still going down. I'm going to have one construction vehicle help build the substations for this uh, for the uh, southwest uh, uh, neighborhood subdivision, whatever, and then I'm going to have the rest of the construction vehicles over here. I'm going to build a mayor. I'm going to build a mayor right over here, uh, just so we can look on the rest of the the uh, city. All right, so uh, this is going up fairly well. I'm going to speed it back up again. 
All right, so we have the so we have the high rise apartments going over here. You can see they kind of they have dynamic uh, building. The more people that move in, the more they grow. You can see them growing ever so slightly, and when and then they go back down as soon as another one's built because the people uh, flood out of this one, they go into this one. So it's kind of kind of interesting how it has real time uh, real time population tracking with the uh, uh, with the high rise apartments. And then they, they, they build and they go back down and they build up again as soon as they do. It's kind of interesting. I, I like this a lot. It's a very good feature. All right, so while that builds, we're going to have just, see, we have these houses right here. Uh, we're going to have, uh, so, so the, these houses are building, these apartments are building. I'm going to have to just get a couple more construction vehicles just so uh, we know what's going on. Uh, just, to, just to keep it up a bit in case we want to do anything else. All right, so... There's not much to do at this point. We just got want to uh, uh, just speed it up a bit. We're going to want to uh, make sure we're going to want to just ensure that nothing else goes wrong. You know, you can get fires and stuff like this. There's, there are disasters in this game. You want to watch out for those. Uh, but they, they shouldn't come uh, fairly. They, they shouldn't come now. They should come way later in the game. Uh, like it, it's a it's a uh, dynamic difficulty. Uh, so the like the, the worse you do. Uh, the, the the less it'll throw at you, but the better you do, the more it'll throw at you to help deal with it. It's it's a very interesting experience that makes that noobs and pros alike can experience this game to its fullest. All right, so uh, as you can see, the last apartment building, the last uh, apartment high rise is going down right now. As you can see, and all and as the population increases, they're all just going to increase at the same rate. And once they're all full, it's just a majesty here. I'm just going to. Just going down. I eh, maybe it's a little bit too low. I'm gonna zoom up on a bit. All right, look at that. Look at all those apartment buildings in their majesty. Now, this, there's, I think there's just one more. There's a one more, couple more things I have to do. Uh, let's just put this radio tower down. This is going to give all the citizens their daily news and their daily entertainment. Uh, so we're just going to uh, increase it, increase its range, so it can, uh, it, it, so it can broadcast all the citizens. I'm gonna call this every tropolis. Every Tropolis. Doesn't it sound like a great place to live? Every Tropolis. It just has a great ring to it. Alright, so once this, well, once the radar, not radar, the, once the uh, radio tower is built, well, radar is radio, but, uh, so once the radio tower is built, then the, uh, then the, the efficiency of, the, of every Tropolis will increase tenfold. Uh, it's, uh, because people are more coordinated, they're more happy, they're more willing to go to work. It's oh, there it goes. Oh, let's look at that happiness just go up. Oh, it's it's just it's such a great feeling. All right, so uh, th there isn't too much left to do. Uh, I'm not going to show the entire game off in this video, uh, but I wanted to show. Uh, but there's not too much else to do. But doesn't this look like such a great place to live? I know I, I can't believe it. Uh, you know you you want to in SimCity, you always want to build the types of cities that you want to live in, and I just can't wait to to show wait till it's all finished uh, wait what Bowser attack uh, why is that happening now they're like it shouldn't be happening this early in the game like they hit the wrong setting or something well, I must have uh, I'm, I'm sure what to do about this I, I have to you may destroy something and I have to rebuild after him uh, uh, this doesn't really look too good I'm not sure how to deal with this uh, if Bowser's coming, uh, I, I don't think I don't have any way to deal with this. I mean, we can get the construction, try to get the construction vehicles out of the way. Uh, but uh, if, if Bowser will destroy all of this, I, I I hope he doesn't. Well, what's what's going to happen? Oh, uh, where did he appear on the map? You know, there's such a huge map. I, I don't know where he is. Uh, the, car the cargo ship's over here. Hopefully, he won't hop out of the water. Uh, but uh, uh, oh, there, oh no, 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 not not re not the residential neighborhood. No. There, there, that's that's Bowser's harbinger right there. No, no, not the high rises, not the not the subdivision, not my industry. No, no, it's I was doing so well too. How did this happen? Uh, no, no, don't attack the mayor. If, if no, if he kills the mayor, you lose. No, come on, mayor, come on, mayor, you can do it. You can do it. No, no, but no, <laughs> why? Why? I was doing so well too. <laughs> oh, why did that have to happen? I was, I, I did everything right. I got all my symmetry, got all my, oh, ugh. so frustrating. Why does that happen every single time I try to play this game?